Okay, let's head out. We're not too far from here, we're going to sight in the gun. Okay. And then we're going to drive around the property to get you a first feel for the afternoon. See what we see and then get the feeling on what this part of the property is like. Tomorrow we might head over to the other side of the road. Sounds good. There's a lot of different places. Sounds good. Okay. All right, let's, let's do it. Then. It's still warm. Yeah, it's yeah, still, still warm. warmed up. Yeah. Got the 375 Holland on Holland to Winchester. Bar 64 with a suppressor on. And it's normally quite an accurate rifle. <laughs> but first we need to see if it's sighted in still. And that takes out most of the recoil. Two, two and a half inches high. Centered? Center. Perfect. Perfect. Let me just make 100% sure. Yeah, it's a See, there's a bush of a white concrete dam. To the right, there's blue wildebeest. Yes, yeah, just to the left, there's a black spring bug on his own. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna drive down here till we're in the bottom. In the bottom, and then that last little bit, we'll walk. There's some rocks, and we'll just see if we can get closer and have a look at him at least from.
it's the first morning and uh, let's head out, I think, back to where we saw that one black pinkback male with that flat area, so, because that's also lecherous and stuff there. Right, okay. See if we, maybe it's in the area with, that we can approach him. The discussion we actually had in Afrikaans was he already tied it up, but he said, unfortunately, he used a very long rope. Okay. So it's still going to be running like a... Oh. Fair case, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so yeah, let's see. We might, if, if we see lecherous and it's a nice bull, we're going to still pass him because we, he's going to be in that area. Right. Yeah, um, so them. let's look through a bunch of them first. And we can always go back and try and find them if we're lucky. Nice morning. We spot, spotted the springbok down there. There's one black see, one. You can actually see the warmth from here, so that's already a very good sign. Yeah. So we're gonna just drive down behind this bush and from here we'll walk. Okay, we've got the wind in our favour. There's some springbok we spotted on the edge of this ridge, so we're going to just walk slowly on the side around the ridge to see maybe we're lucky finding one close by. I just don't see the point yet because it's facing away. Pretty nice and heavy. We've got 
900 euros, 220 down there. Let's just get behind the bush, but the cable is more than. Then. Nice, nice bases, huh? Beautiful. Thank you. Well done. Yeah, thank you. Well, Joe, <laughs> this morning we, we tried the stalk on another black springbuck. I think we got to about probably about 500 yards. Yeah. yeah. And they were just feeding away, they weren't even really spooked. And there was no no chance. And uh, the wind wasn't favorable either. Nothing was really. The yeah. lecherous was running normally. They the calm ones. And we decided to leave them, let them settle. Maybe at least we know where that male is. He's a nice male. And we came over this side, saw this ridge. Decided maybe let's take a chance. Let's walk on the edge of the ridge. I think we went ten yards, and there was already two springboks standing there. Right. And that's how it started. Moved around the ridge. Eventually we saw some, a group of males with a couple of very big copper springbuck in it and decided to go over the ridge, maybe have a better luck, you know. As we came right over the crest, this male was standing probably about 80 yards away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, you made a good call on that, coming over to the second ridge here and looking down in here. And he, like you said, the, the wind was facing, facing us too, so... That was a good thing. If it was off a little bit more, they would have probably bolted, but... Now, there was two others that did, but luckily, yeah, I think they were below. You couldn't see them. Right. Luckily. No, and then, like I said, come over this ridge right here and look down. He's standing there, had no idea we were here. He's dazing off in the distance and got set up on the sticks, and he kind of turned around and faced us, quartering towards us, and put a shot in the engine room and he didn't go exactly. too far and down he is. So. Beautiful shooting there as well. Huh? Yeah, thank you. Congratulations. Yep, thank you. Appreciate it. We know he's here, and we will find him again. It's the third time I've seen him, it's the first time I've really seen him properly, he's really nice. But I think let's tomorrow morning still go to the other side where we know there's also. Have a look through there, maybe there's something bigger.
lots of ledgeway. There's three bulls, it's nice bulls, but I'm not com convinced they're bigger than what we've seen back on that side. Can you pick them up? You or can, but they get little things that will... You can pick them up as long as you don't hold it too tight. Then it will just pull up. It's a, um, a hedgehog, a hedgehog, and they live on insects and all that, fungi sometimes. Hmm. Okay, yeah, he's also not as big as uh, the one we saw over there. So let's go back to camp, kind of looking in the morning, but at least now we know we, uh, there is a decent one. So okay. let's see. Yeah. Nothing bigger. We've seen a bunch of afternoon one. Yeah, I've seen quite a few yeah. today. And we've seen some nice ones, but yeah. Looking for the Yeah. The granddaddy. For the granddaddy. Yeah. This is Karu Sushi. Okay. It's the spring book that the one you showed this morning. All right. Let's hope you must test your um, you are sushi uh, now. All right. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Oh boy. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? That's fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. No? Okay. So let's head back to where we were yesterday afternoon. Just have a last little look there. Maybe there's something bigger. If not, we know we is a big one. Right. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Let's do that. Alright, let's do it. Okay. I don't know, he's actually still young. From the bottom I could just see the points through the grass and it looked wide and all that, but now when you see it to the rest of the body, it's, it's quite, quite small. Okay, um, it's time for lunch. For lunch, we have got a chicken snizzle, green beans with garlic, and uh, potato wedges. And also, I've got uh, this um, cheese sauce over the snizzle, and put on the snizzle.
fallen running to those little ridges here. They stopped on top there, so we're in front of them. So let's get up there. Hopefully we can still be in time because they are keeping us a steady pace. So let's see the winds in our favor. Let's see if we can get close enough. Get a shot then. faster than us. They seem to have kept that pace, they never, we thought they would have stopped up there and give us a chance, but they're just going and they've got that steady trot. Yeah, right it's just a steady, normal eland trot and they can go for quite a long time like that and they're still doing that. Front one, eh? That one hit him. Wait, wait, wait. It hit him. Yeah, just wait for the others. Did you hit him? I know, but there he goes. <laughs> Look at that. It's a good one there. That's yeah, huh? a good one. That's nice. Very nice. Well, Joe. We came a long way with this bull. Yes. Close yes. to five miles. We spotted him, that must have been five, six hundred yards off. Yeah, at least, and yeah. Could see it's a good bull. For some reason, they just start moving. He got on that truck. For, for no reason, and they just moved. We went around and all over the place, and they just kept on going in, in front of us, but consistency paid off. And Yeah, we got ahead of them enough. and. Yeah. Right down here. Yeah, he, they uh, thought he was going to go off the hill and they doubled back up this hill right here and we were right there and had a good shot and made a made good got, shot. Got, yeah. the, got the job done. Yeah. What a great bull. Beautiful bull. Outstanding bull. Very yeah. good. I luck. He's fantastic. I mean, it's a lovely bull. Okay, well, there you have it. This is conservation at its best. It's good for the animal, good for the people, great jobs. More land for conservation efforts, animals, everything else. And Joe, thank you for making it Yeah, I, for us to, to be able to do it. Yeah, I'm glad you know, I had the opportunity to get over here and, and if you guys, if it wasn't for you guys, everybody here it wouldn't be, wouldn't be happening. So great effort with everybody involved. This is a springbok perky. Springbok? Yes. This is a springbok perky. You're gonna test it. It's not good. <laughs> yeah.
And so this is the very traditional African sun ina. And we're doing this tonight because you completed your springbok African slam. Yep. Which is the... I got the common, the white, the copper, and yesterday we got the black. The black. So we got the slam done, so now we got to come to slam. Slam the <laughs> ina. Thank you. Having a little breakfast. Getting ready to head out to go get a left way. Out here, Jason's got one tied up. It's on a long rope though, so it might be kind of challenging. And then after that, we'll see what happens. Those are secretary birds and they predominantly hunting snakes and lizards. They have a way of actually when the snake will stand up in front of them where they box him. It's almost like a kick but forward and the foot will always hit the back of the head even if the snake is facing them. It's got a, got a way of doing it extremely fast. And that concludes our news for tonight and now off to Jason with their weather forecast. From hot hot 90 to 100 degrees sunshine we went to rain in about 20 minutes we were just about to leave and look at that it's raining but i'm sure it's gonna blow over soon so then off we go and it will be nice and fresh and i think it's just a couple of drops i looked at the weather now 30 percent scattered thunder showers scours so i think we'll be good to go That's the way it works in Africa. Hello! <laughs> oh, see, also, he's not deep, you see that? He's, not, he he's pretty that. from the front and all that, but he's not... He, he, he lacks that point. And then from the side, the depth. He doesn't have that. Yeah. The curve is just kind of... Yeah. Our plan <laughs> is to wait for the rain to... It will pass this house, this is a thunderstorm. And then we're going to walk into these bushes here, where we spotted the ledge web. And have a look at it. Well, it seems like the rain has passed, so let's walk in and see if we can find him again.
back, you can see it's got deep now when you look at it. It's very deep. But it is younger. I agree. Yeah. Okay, it's the one on the back is long, but it's it's a little bit young still. The one in front's older, shorter. And we just feel it's that's not what you came for, so that's it. That's the last of it. All you're hunting for on this trip. Yeah. And we gave it our best on the, the ledge way, but Two or three we years. saw him, saw him, and just never we yeah, we've seen went back for him. We thought we can find bigger. We went back and he just disappeared. Almost to the point where I doubt myself that I've seen him, but we've all seen him. He's yeah, we've seen several other good ones, but yeah, not not, not taken, what we. Yeah. I never thought I'd say these words, but I'm kind of tired of hunting. It's been almost three weeks, and I'm <laughs> non-stop more, going and going. Yeah, yeah I'm wore out and yeah. tired, so. Be good to go down to the coast and relax a little bit, do some fishing. But, you know, it's been a great trip, great time being here, and all my other legs of the trip have been over the top. I had a great trip this year. Can't complain, got good animals. So, and being here is a great place. I mean, animals everywhere, and we've seen some good ones. and. Got the nice spring buck and that big, that big eland. That's that topped things off. So yeah, I'm happy. Good. Good job. It was good hunting with you. I really yeah. enjoyed it. You too. I appreciate it. It was nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Good job. So we just got here to Jeffrey's Bay. We're waiting on Jason to show up, and then we're gonna go out for dinner. And tomorrow morning we're going fishing on the shore for sharks. And hopefully Saturday, out on the ocean in the boat, we catch some bottom fish and have a fish fry. Nice and already relaxing. No more hunting. We're in fishing mode now. Tired. Gonna sleep good tonight. second and head to up down the coast to a place to look for uh, fish for some sharks today so looks like it's gonna be a good day it's gonna be interesting having targeted a shark before fishing so hopefully it turns out good looking forward to it Hey guys, so we're just gonna build a bait um, to try and catch a bronzy. That's the target species for today. Um, so I just want to show you guys our setup. So we are fishing with circle hooks and we are throwing bait. So we're using a dingle dangle as well. How the dingle dangle works is you build your bait around the dingle dangle. And then if you have built your bait, you clip your sinker on here. And then when you cast, everything moves together and then when the bait hits the water sinker unclips and then your bait still stays there obviously your sinker is still attached to the to the trace we're just going to build our bait together.
So what kind of sharks are we targeting today? So the main target species for today is the bronze whaler shark. Um, but there is some bite catches, ragged tooth shark, very popular shark in South Africa. Especially with the local competitions, especially um, the competitive angling in league fishing. The main target species is ragged tooth shark. So there's a lot of raggies along our coast, but we're targeting the bronze whaler today. How big they get? They get anywhere between about 100, 100 kilos and 180 kilos. It's the size we normally catch here, but you do get the smaller sizes as well along here. Easier shark in the bronzy, so the bronzy takes a lot of line, but a raggy, slow moving shark, so very slow, with, with the current, but they do get fat. So you can obviously feel there's, a, feel there's a, some weight behind. Got a shark here on the other end of the line. Not sure what kind it is or how big, but first one ever. Pom pom girl. <laughs> go Joe, go Joe. <laughs> Broke the line or pulled the hook out of his mouth, but he's gone. He's gonna make you famous. <laughs> Tough day today. We've lost two sharks. Um, the bites have been slow, but um, managed to hook one at the end of the day and it's looking good so far. Joe's doing a proper job. Hopefully he feels fresh off this nap. <laughs> <laughs> but it's looking good.
Can you jump? Yeah. yeah. Four feet. One six eight six. I don't wanna stop. I don't wanna stop. I don't wanna So we just landed a nice diamond ray. I didn't get the measurement on it yet, but um, got him landed. We just got another hookup down here. We're gonna go see what's on this rod. It's been 30 minutes on this fish and I'm already tired. He won't stop. Hour 10 minutes into it and still haven't gained much. <laughs> Almost there. Almost there. Another 45 minutes. <laughs> if you give it your yeah. all. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't want to come in, does he? But we're winning. We're winning. It's looking good so far. Hour 45 minutes and we're losing line. Haven't gained anything on him lately. No, uh, just past casting distance. So let's say 150, 200 meters. 600 feet. Two hours, 20 minutes, and it was looking very promising. We had the bronzy coming in, it was changing direction a bit here in front, um, but we were getting ready to land it, and then uh, it was just unlucky, and it thrashed twice on the surface, hitting the leader off, and it said it's just unlucky. But other than that, very nice day at the beach. No, it was. You guys did a great job. You look very tired. <laughs> yeah. It's a long fight, two long fights. Um, Heartbreaking, but nice day at the beach. We're going to Rye Banks today and uh, we're going to try and get some, maybe some yellowtail or uh, maybe nice punsies, Miss Lucy's, that type of stuff. But it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a good day. Alright, looking forward to it. Good luck.
Uh, in Afrikaans term, it's a gilbeck. I don't know what you call it in English. Cape, Very yeah. nice. Cape salmon. Maybe Cape salmon, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just out here fishing, catching some bottom fish. I don't know how many we've caught so far. Probably, what, 10? Having a good time? There's a, you'll probably see in the video that Martin got them on film, all the birds diving, big bait ball out here, but they passed us up, but uh, we're getting a few here and there right now. Okay, so we're just pulling in here into Port Elizabeth. We've been out fishing all day. We got, how many fish we get? 15? No, 20? probably like 20, 25, maybe 30. Maybe, yeah, 20, 25. Yeah, um, some bottom fish, different species. I don't know what they're all called, but it was a pretty fun trip. And uh, another guy here, he caught, well, how big was that shark? Three meters, two meters? Three meters around there. Yeah, yeah, no, over, around three. Like, Three, 3.2 meters around there. So a little over three meter ragged tooth shark, but we had to cut the line, we couldn't take him. But yeah, having a good time, really nice here. We're gonna offload the fish, get them cleaned up, and head back to Port, where are we going? Jeffers uh, Bay. Jeffers Bay. And uh, have a fish fry tonight. <laughs> 